Indie News number 105 is coming up next. It's going to be an all Dark Horse update. We're going to talk about, oh, the Nosferatu Wars from Steve Niles. Vampire Love. We're also going to talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer Vampire and her and her baby. And what's going to happen to the baby? And we're also going to talk about Bippard, BPRD. It's Hell on Earth time again at BPRD. What's going on with them? We're going to talk about containment pants. Don't be a noodle back! <laughs> Come back right after this. Here at Alternate Reality, we have always believed that kids are the future of this industry, and that's why I have the largest kids' selection of any other store anywhere. Come on down to Alternate Reality, and you'll find comics and trade paperbacks on Pixar characters like Toy Story and Cars, Muppets, Disney, Simpsons, DC and Marvel characters, of course, like Tiny Titans, Scooby-Doo, Spider-Man, and Marvel superheroes. I also have a large selection of girls' comics and girls-related trade paperbacks, as well as illustrated classics and a whole lot more. Readers are leaders, so come on down to Alternate Reality with your little one and pick up some comics that both of you can enjoy. Indie News with Bone Comic Book Man. Cue it up. I can't contain my enthusiasm, but it can be misdirected. <laughs> Independent Comic Book News, Episode 105, The Dragon with the Butterfly Tattoo. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. Bo, what time is it? Time for you to stop hitting people! Wow. Stop it! Wow. Stop it! Wow. The, the monster is awoken. You have a It's the beast. Indie News the 105, and it's all dark horse <laughs> all the time. Snap out of it! Man up! Okay. DC <laughs> Dark Horse News. Dark Horse News in the Indie News is coming from this place. Alternate real. I have to drive my truck. <laughs> Alternate <Damn! reality. laughs> Look at the intersection of 111 the Kenzie, beautiful downtown Mount Grew, and all the real no comics. Put your beautiful. big boy pants on. Oh, don't be a noodle back! <laughs> don't be a noodle back! <laughs> oh, Dark Horse News. Uh, BPRD. Hell on Earth. The Long Dead. Man, that's going to be a long title on that book. <laughs> it's yeah, this month, This because it's February right now. Yes. I know it's a short month, but we get an extra day this month. February it's 2012. It's a leap year. Leap year, 29 days. more days. Sweet. So on that 29th day, just stay home and drink all day. Send Bill Murray a check. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> so uh, this month we're going to see the launch of BRPD Hell on Earth along with BPRD. Well, it's a Hellboy limited series with a focus on Johan Krauss. That's what they all are. Is and, his, and his new containment suit. Because he's a ghost and he's got this funny looking retro thing. And now he's going to get something that's just a little more... Modern and up to date. Debonair. Where, Debonair can I, where, where, where can I get a containment suit? You have to, you have to live in uh, Mike uh, McNulla's neighborhood. Oh, okay. and I just I, want a containment suit. You don't need a whole suit, just a pair of pants. Yeah. Yeah. Containment, yes. Contain my, contain <laughs> my pants. Con to contain things. <laughs> now, in this... In this uh, like a, a, like ex explosive diarrhea. Explosive diarrhea. There's a lot of things diarrhea. going on down there that need <laughs> contained. In this, in this little limited series, you're going to go to the Forest of British Columbia. Yes. It'll also tie into the Hellboy limited series of the New World and Killing Ground because there were stuff left over from both of those. And mm -hmm. one of the other characters in this Hell on Earth thing is a character from New World. Okay. And there's also a character from Killing Ground. They're a female character who's part of the so. BPRD. Because Hellboy's still dead. Hellboy's still in hell. But the BPRD is alive. They're still around. And Magnolia drawing it? No. I think it's going to be drawn by, I don't, I don't know if Guy Davis is drawing it. But I think Guy, uh, John Arcudi's going to write it. No, actually a new guy's drawing it. But a new guy who's drawing a lot of dark and scary stuff. It's going to be a dark and scary. Another dark and scary writer is Steve Niles, who has a Dark Horse project, Menton 3. Menton 3 is the artist. He actually has a real oh. name, but he goes by oh, the artist. Oh, artist Menton 3. He goes by the oh, Nosferatu Wars. Yeah. Nosferatu. Nosferatu Wars will be introduced in Dark Horse Presents. The story involves a vampire couple separated for 500 years who end up meeting again in the present in the middle of a war between two factions of arguing vampires. True love. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet with vampires. With fangs. Right, with fangs. This will be a four-part serial in Dark Horse Presents, and at that point after that, it may become a regular limited series. Might jump into a series. It, you never know. Might jump into a series. I mean, uh, yeah, because Ryan Woods the Massive started this week in this Dark Horse Presents, and it could jump. It's going to be a regular series as well. You heard him. Speaking of vampires, the big vampire franchise over at Dark Horse is, of course, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We're in Season 9 on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Bob, what's going on in Season 9? Well, in Season 9, we will eventually find out what's going on with Willow, because Willow hasn't been around. In fact, none of the Scooby gang have been around, because they've been dealing with their own stuff. That's never So we've got to find out where Willow is going. And the next arc will feature Andrew Wells, and the issue that shipped this week, uh, for all you folks who don't know it, I'm going to spoil it right now, at the end of the issue. Thanks. Buffy, who found that she was pregnant in the previous issue, and after talking with Spike and realizing a Slayer can't be pregnant, decides to have an abortion. Oh, 
she won't get an abortion. She's getting one. It's happening. I'll bet you five bucks she doesn't yep. get an abortion. Or if she does, yep. it doesn't take because it's a vampire baby or well, something. Well, I don't know. She's not a vampire. No, she's not. She's but a baby. Slayer. But she could have been impregnated by a vampire. No, well, which makes could... no sense at all because they're dead and it's like. Well, what? no, they're not. Well, no, they're not dead. They're they're zombie. I oh, I don't even want to hear that. You're gonna you're gonna start getting into Star Wars uh, mitochondrians or something. Well, you get what? And and they you got know, pregnant in the TV series. Half ass explanations for stuff that doesn't need an explanation. Well, in the first well, place. well, at the end of Buffy season eight, since there's no magic in the world, the vampires are kind of like really screwed up. Well, if there's no magic in the world, Willow's gonna have a hard time. Yeah, yeah. It's maybe why she's off doing stuff. She's gonna have a hard time. Maybe she's finding a skill, learning how to do macrame. Okay. That's it. We got no more Dark Horse news, but go to the store's website, check it all out, because he gives it to me, and I post it up there, and where is it at? He does give it to Sarah me. Sarah knows, and it's on the World Wide Web. www.myalternatereality.com And no, you won't have to disinfect your hard drive. Stop off at the store's website, check out all of his news, and until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And this is Bo. Saying, Bye! The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.